Pokemon Unite! Hey everyone, my name is Maximus of Boss Gaming and welcome to another beginner's in-depth guide into Pokemon Unite. Today we'll be jumping into what some might say is the DPS king of top lane, Cinderace. Okay, let's get down to the basics. In Pokemon Unite, Cinder Ace is an A tier ranged DPS attacker and is considered to be of novice difficulty to play. This is mainly because of the user friendly ranged auto attack feature within this game, which makes kiting pretty easy. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes you need to be very wary of auto attacking minions instead of opponents. And to be frankly honest, this auto attack feature of this game makes the game very enjoyable and relaxing compared to other MOBAs. What? <laughs> like, yeah, I said. It and Cinder Ace can learn Ember, Low Sweep, Pyroball, Blaze Kick, Flame Charge, Faint, and Blazing Bicycle Kick. Now let's get into his basic attack effect. His basic attacks become a boosted attack with every third attack, dealing increased damage when it hits. So let's count it off. One, two, three, boosted attack. One, two, three, boosted attack. So let's go into his passive skill called Blaze. When he's at half HP or less, his critical hit rate and attack speed are both increased. And when the Pokemon uses a move, the next basic attack becomes a boosted attack. So don't be afraid when you're at low HP and you're going toe to toe with someone. Just remember that you could crit someone and you could do boosted damage based on your HP. So let's get into the evolution. Squaw Bunny requires level 5 to evolve into Raboot and then level 7 to evolve into Cinder Ace. So, being an attacker, generally you need to fulfill the role of DPS just like any other MOBA, where you bring that consistent range damage to team fights by staying out of range of melee attackers and always looking to land that precise skill shot to finish off opponents. <laughs> With the basics out of the way, let's get into the combat abilities of Cinder Ace. At levels 1 to 3, we have Ember and Low Sweep. Ember has a cooldown of 6 seconds, which launches a small flame attack that inflicts a burn status. This attack will trigger additional damage for the next 3 times you do any attack. So up next we have low sweep. This is where you do a basic attack. It deals some basic damage but it also decreases the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon if you land your boosted attack. <laughs> now that's fantastic. So at level 7 you start to become original in that you have to choose one move. So you have a choice between Pyro Ball and Blaze Kick. So we have Pyro Ball which is basically your bread and butter of Cinder Ace. Basically this launches a fireball in a straight line which inflicts burn status. Also the attack will trigger additional damage damage for the next 3 times you do any attack. Now we must also note the upgrade feature of Pyro Ball in that when this move is upgraded it allows basic attacks to reduce the cooldown of this move. The other level 7 move is really weird it's Blaze Kick where you actually initiate an attack from one area then you jump back to the area and if you hit the enemy they get knocked back and they are inflicted with a burn status that is like totally weird. This attack will trigger additional damage for the next 3 times you do any attack just like the other moves but it's a really a nice hit and run tactic move. With that said, let's go on to the level 8 moves Flame Charge and Faint. So Flame Charge is where you charge in a particular direction dealing damage if you hit the opponent. It also increases the range and damage of your next basic attacks. Hmm, I'm thinking they're trying to tell you something here. This is the move you use if you want to close that gap to finish off an opponent who is getting away from the fight. Finish him! Up next we have Faint. This is basically where your movement speed is increased for a short period of time and it makes you invincible. <laughs> yeah. And if used while you are being hindered by something, it basically negates it. So if Pikachu puts a net on you, you basically come out of it. And the upgrade is fantastic. Basically the next 3 attacks you will do if you upgrade this move will restore your health. At level 9, this is where you get the big one. At level 9, you learn Cinder Ace's Unite move, Blazing Bicycle Kick. This basically is a giant fireball that is sent towards a particular direction and when it explodes, it deals additional damage to the area of effect. It also increases your movement speed for a short period of time. Now that's what we call a finishing move. Now that we have all those moves said and done, let's get into the items that you really need to focus on if you really want to main Cinder Ace. The first item is Focus Band. Now, Focus Band will protect you from dying if it is a move that will just make you faint and it will recover your HP for a short period of time. So, in other words, it increases your survivability in combat. 
Up next we have Muscle Band which basically increases your attack speed and your base attack damage to keep that consistent damage as your role as a DPS in Pokemon Unite. And last but not least, we have Scope Lynch, which basically boosts your critical hit chance and your critical hit damage. This is a must, of course, for any DPS. Now, we cannot have any sort of beginner's casual guide if we don't have the Pokemon that basically synergize with you. So, based on their movesets, these are the following Pokemon that are fantastic for you to play with. First off, we have Talonflame, then we have Gengar, and then we have Elder Gross. These are fantastic Pokemon to carry you through your DPS role in Pokemon Unite. So that was the basic tips and tricks for Cinder Ace if you want to play him as a casual main. Now don't forget if you have any further information on Cinder Ace or Pokemon Unite, don't forget to post it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like on our Facebook page and as always, share up the love.